up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am. burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes, I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire, unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A dampier. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondergore against the armies of darkness until you fell at Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. Where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. 
You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the Forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the Forge. I think he has another present for you. Next thing I know, the Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? 
Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. 
How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel. Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. I may be a few hundred years behind, but I know that tone. Oh, you are a sharp one. But no, I'm insulting the situation. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than Eye of Newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. Gamma seems to be a reoccurring theme these days. Oh, you think I'm bad? You should ask Bruce. Actually, don't. He's been really sensitive since... You know what? Never mind. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. 
Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? This can never get... Welcome to the Yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? Huh. <laughs> she didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous and vulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the Funky Bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. 
Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Thank you.